All right, we got the gauge hooked into the clutch pressure port here. That's a little short hose. I had a longer hose on it, but the gauge drop pressure would drop too slow. It took it several seconds to bleed the pressure off the gauge. So I got this little short hose hooked in here, and uh, the one I had ran clear up to the dash there, but. See, there it's moving and it dumps the pressure real quick. But and you can see there, see, it's still holding on. For being a John Deere, it does sound good when it idles. But you can see, let the clutch out. They say to warm it up, but I had it warm yesterday and the pressures were right. You know, at 1,000 RPM and then 1,500 and then 2,000 per the deer service book. Yeah, and that pressure drops on zero and still ain't going into gear. Pressure's at zero, and there we go, it's still not. Creeps up pretty good. The, uh, say that clutch pedal also moves completely between the two stops on the valve body. Yesterday, and they said they're, they're going to ship it out truck freight, so it ought to be here first of next week, I think. split it here. I didn't film too much because it's just unscrewing hoses and whatnot. There's oh, four or five hoses you gotta undo. The air conditioning couplers are right there and they got quick, di or they're not a quick disconnect, but uh, you unscrew them and they don't dump the system. There's the walking shop rag. Got this here to cap my heater hose line because uh, I didn't want to dra didn't drain the coolant out and uh, didn't have a cap plug that size. So <laughs> I 
That's about it. I'm calling around. I gotta find some big threaded rod. I'm gonna uh, make a splitting stand for it to go on here. I got some big heavy casters laying back there and caster wheels. And I'm gonna put that and then put some threaded rod down on it to uh, you know where you can level it up and raise it up and down and whatnot. So and then just bolt into you know wherever along here. Had that, um, and did the wiring harness and whatnot, mm, fuel stuff, bottle cable and whatnot. These are something to do with the hydraulic pump. It ran up front there, and then there's this other one, is the another one that came back, and I unhooked it there, and I unhooked this one from up top. So, well, we'll get her split here. Already out here, got her split, as you can see. Here's my stand I built. Made these adjustable little slide side to side. You know how I split something else sometime. Um, worked pretty well. Did find a problem. The divider plate and the clutch. Uh, it's burnt, you can see here, and it is. If you hold it against this piece here, it is warped it. You know, moves some, so I think that's so that's gonna have to be replaced. And I was uh, talking to my uncle; he used to be a service manager at John Deere, and he said if this tractor would have come in for some, you know, that problem, they would have replaced all the clutch discs, this, this piece, and uh, that star piece there, and then replace the fingers to uh, just ensure it doesn't happen again when it goes back together, because that'd be pretty bad to get it back together, and is bad or, uh, that happens so. 5,900 hours, we're going to put a rear main seal in it also. And I'm going to take the valve body off the side of it here. Um, we're going to put a new needle bearing in here and put new seals and pistons and just check all that out and make sure it's releasing the way it's supposed to. So I'll go ahead and pop the valve body off here and, uh, and get this pulled out. You just pull the valve body out and pull this row of six bolts out and then this thing off pulls out and then you dis disassemble it on the bench so I think it'll be fairly easy but I got a jack under the hitch also so this thing can't go either way but yeah I already got the uh, bow body off and uh, obviously got the two-speed planetary set still sitting in there but uh, you take the front housing off of it here the two-speed planetary uh, is right there behind that front plate and it's for the side-to-side -side power shift on it that looks like in per service book what are you doing here uh, shop rag got two cats one's floor dry and one's shop rag pull this apart and we're going to put new bearings in here, new needle bearing. We're going to put new seals on the PTO and clutch piston because he does use the PTO a fair amount on this tractor. And while we're this far we might as well go ahead and replace stuff so you know in a year or so if something else would go wrong we don't have to come back in and do it. But anyway, it will be kind of a rascal to get that snap ring back in there. bearing Oops, snap, oh, there it is yeah, it's, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get that back in but that's the way it is I'm trying to remember what it said in the book next uh, we gotta take these little snap rings off this deal here because this piston on the later models they didn't have a snap ring in here this piston just slide out. They had a snap ring on the earlier ones. 
for whatever reason, then they probably realize as long as the tractor's assembled, it's never going to come out of there. Why cut the groove for a snap ring? Um, let me look see what they say next. Oh yeah, I gotta take them little ones off there and then take these five, those five little screws out. Come on. Hit me right in the head there. You won't do a drill like that. Not like that, but anyway, there's how you do that. And then it looks like you just take these five cap screws off and that. That's a PTO brick, by the way. And then this piece comes out, which allows the, uh, whatever you call that, the uh, PTO piston uh, to push that out. And then there's a seal here. And this seal for the main clutch piston and you just bend these little tabs back on a little needle bearing crap comes out of there and so we're going to have an extensive parts list but if you have trouble at splitting a tractor I'd hate to have to go in here in a year or so and do it just because the guy had a uh, had a problem with it that's not very profitable to be so get it apart here and come back to you alrighty got her all tore apart here um this piston take them little this all flip over and sit into here this is the PTO piston well this is the piston here I think but anyway it's got seals that ride against this piece and so on just these little rubber rubber square cut uh, o-rings this little thing these little tabs will Bend up like this. There's a plate, and that's it's the rival. <laughs> Well, that's definitely got some wear on it, which I mean, after 5,900 hours, of course, it's going to have wear. There's the little needle bearing. It goes on there like that. Yeah, and then this other wear plate there, it looks like. I imagine that probably all comes to the kit, I suppose, and place that but we'll find out I'm gonna go with the customer and we're gonna go down to John Deere and order parts so probably have them come out here first take a look at everything we're doing so all right one more thing here I forgot to uh, mention for some reason I was thinking earlier that this was the traction clutch here the one that sits in the back but it's not it's really the uh, uh, PTO clutch traction clutch sits up closer to the engine it's the one in front of that which is separated by this plate and it looks even worse actually this is the plate that was with it that side's not as bad but it's got some rough grooves in it and you can see it's been hot because it's discolored the whole plate 
and it's got some more marks on it on this side here and then uh, I'm probably gonna get a new drive hub here because it's got some grooves wore in it and that could not let the clutch discs release sometimes you know if it gets enough groove wore in it this one about wore all <laughs> well you can see here on this clutch disc it's just down to the metal it's wore all the uh, carbon material off of it that side's not too bad and I think it was this where is it this one this must have been this one. Well, if I can find it, there it is. The uh, you can see the whole material is just about to peel off of it there. So she needed a clutch. So anyway, there's that, and uh, got parts ordered. Got a couple more things I got to order, but other than that, yeah. So thanks for watching.